here's the thing with guys too. I think texting them, like they, sorry to the male species, are, when it comes to communicating, like they can't read a mind even remotely. Oh, I know. You could be like, yes, and they would take it as maybe. Like you have to, you have to be so explicit and then get ready for them to be pretty explicit back. But like you almost have to be so black and white with them or like they're not gonna, they, they just don't get it. We would have so much better. It's actually funny cause like society's a little bit flipped. We give men all the power mm -hmm. to ask us on dates, but we actually have the brain that should be asking them on dates because we're way more decisive and we communicate better. Yeah. But yet we, the guys are the ones that do it and they're like, uh, what's up? And you're like, no, ask me to dinner. Like <laughs> I wanna go to, like I'm giving you every sign, like I'm here. I find it very interesting that women say things like this. This is a very interesting conversation that women tend to talk about amongst themselves or they expect a man to be mind, a mind reader. And only men who are really are really know women or understand women, that 3% man, shout out to Corey Wayne, can kind of be intuitive on that on that type of time, but Women are sometimes all over the place. And I'm going to get into a lot of this stuff that she was talking about in terms of communication, because women are some of the worst communicators, it regardless, regardless of what they like to say about men. But before we do, man, because we got a lot to unpack in this mind reading video, it's your favorite everything, JR Wisdom. Hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. Let's run it up to 100,000. Quit playing with me. So there she's describing a man. So men aren't mind readers. First, you can you can be good with, and I know I said this earlier, you can be good with women, right? But women will always throw a monkey wrench somewhere in there, or she'll be feeling some type of way and won't say anything to you about it and expect you just to know or ask her how she's doing or what's going on and when you do ask her she'll say nothing right and some women want you to beg the answer out of her you have to do it in a certain way or you have to talk to me in a certain type of way i'm not saying that men and you have men who genuinely come across soft-spoken and ask you hey babe what's what's wrong nothing i'm good and you could tell something's wrong because of something that you may have done or didn't do in a moment and she holds that inside and doesn't tell you about it. So who has worse communication if a man is asking you what's the issue and you decide to basically keep it inside? And this is, I, I had a video called How to Effectively Communicate with Women. And I, I think I, we, I did one with Princella the other day and we talked about this as well. I think it's very important. For the men who understand women, some women, like a lot of women are just fucked up guys. You could be doing everything right. You could be texting. You could be checking in on her and things like that. And you're considered too needy, right? You could be pandering to her <laughs> hand and foot, which is what she'll say she wants, but she's turned off, right? He didn't know this. He didn't know this. Women communicate through innuendo, right? That's how women communicate. They, they don't communicate directly. We are black and white. Because that's logic. Logic is speaking in, you know, black and white, for lack of a better term. Straight to the point. If there's a problem, tell me. Let's not go around the world with you making up stuff and you inventing things in your mind, which is what women tend to do. They tend to invent issues and problems and let it fester and then talk to their girlfriends and everybody else except talking to you. So it's weird how women say it. Women, women are the most complicated when even other women don't understand other women. And why they do shit and why they do dumb shit. And when women do dumb shit, they don't like to be called out on it. And they like to say, well, whatever whatever the issue is, if a woman communication sucks, if she breaks up with the guy, she'll say it's his fault. Very I had a conversation the other night. We talked about women and self help. Who who seeks self help more often? Is it men or women? And I was talking to uh, a, a young lady and she said men do. Men seek self-help. Women don't, but she tried to make excuses about it and go about it in a roundabout way. Women don't care about that because they feel like they're perfect. It's the patriarchy that has you doing this way and has you doing these things. No matter what issue a woman has in life, it's a man's fault. You guys have to know that. 
You guys have to know that if it whether it's communication, you asking her out on a date. Men should be forward. Men should be intuitive and but you should be able to finesse the way you talk. You should be able to engage a woman, be cool, calm, collective, centered. When I say in a roundabout way, I don't mean like you're like trying you have nefarious intentions, but you need to be smooth with it, bro. You need to be smooth with it. You don't have to it's not a mathematical equation. But you have to be able to read the signs and be direct. Obviously, you go out to a restaurant. You're talking to a woman, right? You ask her, you you converse with her, and then you ask her directly what it is that you want. Hey, I would like to take you out on a date. And what she's, a lot of times women are waiting. Women aren't di as direct as men are. Women aren't going to be like, hey, I want to go out on a date. They're waiting for you to do it. You are the leader. You are leading the interaction. You're leading the sexual interaction. You're you're creating the chemistry. You guys go out to a restaurant. You don't look for her to move. You look for you you take charge. You get the table. You do all of these things. That's where you build trust in her. She's able to trust you. She's like, "Okay, I'm I feel secure with this guy. I don't have to be out here flapping in the wind. He's taking charge." And I can follow his lead. Hey, you know, and you you have to look at when you're talking to someone, what it is, what is her expectations, right? And what's your expectations in her? Fellas, you don't have to be a mind reader, but you do have to be intuitive. And this comes with experience when you're dating a woman. That's why it's important to not get stuck on one, one woman. It's important to communicate with a lot of different women and I, that does it doesn't even it doesn't have to be anything like in terms of intimate you know are you trying to get with her it's just like alan roger curry rest in peace would say just talk to cashiers women at the mall women at the perfume stand you know at the kiosk you know just random random women that way you become comfortable and you can understand and over time when it comes to you communicating with with women It'll be like clockwork what her responses will be. You know what I mean? You can kind of predict it. But if you're just starting out and you're new to this and you don't know about these things, then yeah, you might be like, okay, I don't know what she wants. I'm afraid if I say this. Guys, you got to say what you don't, you're not going to be disrespectful, but you have to say what's on your mind. Women like a man that, regardless of what she says, she likes a man that's direct. She even said in this video here, like, you'll have to, you'll be direct, but he'll be direct back don't wait for a woman to do that you know what i'm saying you have to be direct you have to be i'm not saying aggressive but you have to be assertive that's what women like women don't like a man that's timid and well i don't know and hey what's up what are you doing well, what are you doing well how are you doing well how are you doing okay well how was your day how was your day you know women women aren't trying to hear that fellas women women want a guy who's decisive and direct that's thoughtful Certain things when it comes to a date, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk more about this. You know, proper dating, how to how to build relationships with women and things like that. That way, all of the anxiety that comes with it, you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes, fellas. Women aren't perfect either, so if they if you make a little mistake or you basically have an oversight at a point, you know she shouldn't be all down your throat about it. That's this is what comes with being human but definitely being able to read a woman is a skill and it takes experience and even so you still not gonna know everything about a woman but at least you'll be intuitive enough to know but like i said some women are just batshit crazy and they just sabotage relationships and you have to understand that that's why you have to find out what it is how women tick how to correspond with women how to build confidence and things like that you know what i mean so don't you don't have to be a mind reader <laughs> anyway let me know what you guys think comment below like share comment and subscribe if you're having issues there's a lot to unpack in this video and you are having issues with dating and you know approaching women and you don't know how to effectively communicate with women yo book a session below purchase all my books merch t-shirts it helps to support the channel follow me on instagram facebook tiktok and with that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker.
Papa put a light in the sky for the G's Let them turn memory from go Blessings we send to the ghetto you 